Hi everyone, I'm Joey. Well, you might remember a couple of weeks ago, or a couple of videos ago, I uh, made a set of front doors with a big X uh, bracing system in it. Uh, the same client wanted a vanity that really reflected some of the details in those doors and generally looked the same, uh, had the same kind of features throughout the house. Uh, so this is a vanity I came up with uh, for that. It's made from white American oak with stain and oak veneer on MDF as well for some of the carcass work. The client has supplied these um, hand beaten copper bowls, which uh, I haven't drilled the holes for yet because I'm not exactly sure where the uh, plumbing on the wall is in, the, in relation, so I don't want to just go and put the whole center of the vanity and be a couple of them out of line with the, the uh, tap that's actually in the wall, so it better happen on site. So I came across a couple of uh, pretty good sized oak boards, but they had a really big crack down the middle and uh, my supplier gave them to me for really cheap, but I was able to just get enough timber for the legs for the vanity. After I'd split all the boards into manageable pieces, uh, I could straighten one edge on my table saw and then uh, rip to my final thickness, or close to it. Okay, gluing up the legs, each one is made up of three boards and I'm just adding a single pin uh, in the end of each board just to make sure they don't uh, slide around when they get pressed. And this is my press, so excuse all the mess around it because it doesn't get used that often so it becomes a bit of a storage uh, unit. But for this kind of thing it's really great for putting a whole heck of a lot of pressure on some small things. I needed to add two dado grooves, uh, one for the bottom slatted shelf and one uh, further up towards the top of the leg to hold the actual base of the carcass itself. I added a nice little roundover to all the edges of the legs and on the back corners of back legs I had to add a rebate to take the backing board. So now I could break down the 18mm panel of uh, oak veneered MDF. First just take a, a strip off the side to make sure it's nice and square and straight. And then I rip the piece I want. So I need to add a mitre to the small side panels that will be the sides of vanity. And I'm adding some lamello joiners. You'll see them a bit later on, but before I can join the sides up to the legs, I need to add some decorative uh, strips of oak.
Next was the bottom panel of the carcass. So I could run some oak veneer edging along the exposed fronts and trim off the excess. And I had to add a rebate in the back of the bottom panel as well, and this will take the back panel. The last thing to do in the bottom panel is to make some notches around the legs. Add a couple of more lamellos, and this way the leg panel will mitre and securely join on to the bottom panel. So I'm using 7mm veneered MDF for the back panel. Next I could mill up the timber for the top, this is 40mm uh, oak, ends up coming down to 35mm and then I could glue it up. So I had already ripped down some pieces for the bottom slat shelf and I'm just cleaning them up, taking the saw marks off and generally making them look a bit tidier. Cut all my slats to length and I'm just adding a single wide domino in the middle of those. And I'm going to pre-finish all of the slats first, so it starts with a stain and at the same time I was also able to stain up the carcass of the vanity, which was not particularly easy or fun. I thought the outside stain colour would be too dark for the interior of this unit so I've used a shade lighter or a few shades lighter stain. I'm actually using a dye stain by Brywax and it's a meths based stain so it dries very very quickly and um, really easy to use. Next was to sand most of that stain back off until you can, what it, what it looks like, you can see the natural colour of the timber.
Then I could cut the top to length. And give it a bit of a smooth up. I actually ended up leaving uh, some of the plane marks slightly because the client was really out there of kind of a rusticy look. And I know it's not the done thing, but uh, that's what they got. Next step was to work on the drawer fronts and the doors. So I just milled up some pieces of timber and just make a simple frame and domino those together. While those are drying, I thought I'd get in and clear coat the top. Of course, I made a mistake by not actually sanding the stain off first. So I had to go back and stain through the clear coat and the stain, uh, and then come back and add the clear coat again. But while I had it out, I also got on to doing the carcass as well. And for those of you wondering about the MDF, I was uh, very careful to clear coat all the exposed edges. So all around the back, the bottom is uh, it's clear coated as well. I needed a few slots in the top of the carcass so I could attach the top properly. This slatted uh, shelf was a bit of a bugger to put together but we got there in the end. ended up gluing slightly out of square so I had to plane a little bit off the back corner and then I just restained that area afterwards. Right back onto the doors and I needed to make a small rebate around the back side of the door uh, frame. Then I could fit the doors to the cabinet itself. Using a small shop made jig, I could make some radius or radii on the corners of the, the door panels, which is again 7mm veneered MDF. Add the decorative bracing. In hindsight, I should have pre-stained the, the MDF panel and the diagonal brace piece 
because uh, it was a real bugger to get in and get an even finish uh, in all these little triangles. And then on with the clear coat. Um, I'm using a water-based polyurethane in this case. I really think it's a good option in a bathroom and three, four coats and you're good to go. With the doors drying, I can rip some 12 mil veneered MDF that I'll use to make the drawer boxes. The sides of the drawers were rebated on each end while all of the pieces received a groove for the draw bottom. Edging the 12 mil MDF is a bit annoying because I, as far as I know I can only get 18 mil or 22 mil wide veneer tape, but it works. on to pre-stain and pre-finish all the parts for the drawers and then I could put them together. The front and back panel sit inside the sides and are glued and pinned in place. Using undermount draw runners requires some little notches in the front and back and I found that the multi-tool works pretty good to do, remove this. Time to get the hinges on the doors. Because the doors are inset, I have to add a small block for them to close against. And I could get the first look at the completed vanity. Nearly completed. When possible, I like to get the final coat of clears on the doors and drawer fronts uh, when they're in place. Because of all the handling they get doing hinges and all that kind of stuff, I find it's easier to just finish them in place. A uh, quick little bit of housekeeping for me, I've had uh, people again asking for um, t-shirts and things like that. Uh, I have a, a cotton bureau, um, some t-shirts available on the cotton bureau, but also uh, if you go to Teespring, in some countries you will actually have a little Teespring shop underneath this video. Uh, there's actually more products, there's t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, and socks and stickers, and so if you want anything like that, you can go to my Teespring um, 
little shot. Otherwise, um, see you next time.